I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and CSS basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoyed the rest of this video. Today, what I want to go over is on why every developer needs to build a brand for themselves. Why every developer needs to build a personal brand. Now, I've had the privilege of being able to speak with hundreds of developers all around the world. And one thing that every developer has in common, which is so interesting, is that every single, not every, well, let's say most of them, most of them have said that they hate social media. And it's funny because that's kind of the stereotype that we have. They're like, we like to keep to ourselves. We like to keep our lives private. Every single one of them, most of them have said that they don't like social media. And I would ask them why. And they would say things like, I just, I hate it. It's a waste of time. I'd rather spend time learning code. I'd rather spend time contributing to an open source project than talking about myself on Instagram. Or some people would say, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not cool enough. But what people tend to forget is that, don't you know that developers are the rock stars of today? And not only within the companies, not only within the companies, but literally within the world. I mean, when you think about it, we get to go from zero to hero within a couple of years. Whether you go to college in four years, you get your degree, you make bank, right? Or if you're a self-taught developer, after four years of experience, you become a senior developer. You start making more money, more money, more money. Like that's not normal with many other industries in the world, but we get to do that. But don't you think people want to see that? Like, don't you think people want to see what is it that makes a developer a rock star in the world today? Then think about it. When people think that, what is the first thing they do? When you have a question, what is the first thing you do? You Google it. They research. And guess what? The first set of group of people that they see online is now the standard of who they think about when it comes to a developer, a rock star in the world today. They might find a person on Instagram. They might find that person on Twitter. They might find that person on social media like Quora or Medium or even the post on Facebook. But my question is this, guys. Why can't the person they find online be you? Like, why not you? What makes you a lesser developer than someone else? Well, let me tell you something. That person can be you. It doesn't matter how late you think you are in the game today of building a brand. Start now. Now is literally better than later, better than never. And the funny thing is that it's so much easier to build a brand than you might realize. People tend to think when building a brand, you need to show off your life. You need to show off these material things that you have that you need to show off your lavish lifestyle because I don't have a lavish lifestyle. Well, let's be honest, guys. <laughs> Just because we're developer does not mean that we get to live a luxurious lifestyle because I sure don't. I sure don't. And I've been doing this for almost five years now. But guess what? What if I told you that not everyone is looking for that? That really, no one cares about your lavish lifestyle. People are well not. People aren't looking for that in the internet. They can see that in movies. They can see that in actors, movie stars. They can see that in the rap stars, in singers, musicians, celebrities. They can see that lavish lifestyle watching Paris Hilton. They don't go. The, the, people are not just looking for that. People are looking for value. People are looking for real people. Let me give you an example. Who here knows Eminem? Eminem, the rapper, not the candy. Eminem, I've been an Eminem fan since the beginning. I've been listening to him since his first LP, uh, since his first album. I know the lyrics to almost all of his songs. I'm a hardcore Eminem fan. 
But have you ever wondered what makes Eminem's fan, right? Eminem's fans more hardcore than other fans. For example, Post Malone. I love Post Malone. I I'm sure some of you might know Post Malone as well. But Post Malone. Post Malone fans. Do Post Malone fans love Post Malone as much as Eminem's fans love Eminem? Heck no. Uh, another person. Uh, who's another uh, famous singer, actor, rapper? DJ Khaled. Okay, DJ Khaled. Do DJ Khaled fans love DJ Khaled as much as Eminem fans love Eminem? Think about it. Think about it. No. Not even close. Then the question then is, <laughs> is why? Why do DJ Khaled fans, Post Malone fans, not love them as much as Eminem? What is it that Eminem did different? Think about this. One person rapped about luxury. One person rapped about being rich. One person rapped about having all the girls and partying, having mansions, the Rolls Royce, the Mercedes, and BMWs. While the other person, what did he rap about? Hardships, difficulties, pain, all these different things, struggle. What Eminem did is that he made himself vulnerable to his fans. And what did that do? That allowed his fans to connect with him that much more in a deeper level. The people who talk about the party, the girls, the, the weaker stuff that's not so deep, they have, they build, they're building a weaker fan base. But the artists, the people who talk about the stronger real life stuff that people can relate to, the struggles, the hardships, the pain, they make themselves vulnerable on, yes, make themselves weaker. But yo, but guys, their fan base is going to be that much stronger. And this will allow that person to have a career lasting decades. Eminem is still around. That's crazy. I've been listening to him for like what? 15 years. Longer than that. But this is what building a brand is all about. Sculpting how you present yourself to the world. People are looking for someone that they can relate to. Not for someone who just shows off. People are looking for people. So then you're probably thinking, Chris, all right, I believe you now. I want to do I want. I want to be that person that people look for when they Google something, right? Then the question then is, how do you build a brand? Let me tell you. It's a lot easier than you realize. Building a brand is by doing this. By literally being you. By being the person you were made to be. 24-7, 365 days a year, being 100% you. You don't build a brand by being a person that you are not, all right? You build it by being the person that you are. It, it, it's, it's so much easier than people realize. Because at the end of the day, when you really think about it, man, brand wins. Like, for example, Nike. When you look at Nike, when you look at Under Armour, I love Nike, right? I love Nike. But why do some people choose Under Armour like me? I choose Under Armour because what does Under Armour do? They represent the underdogs. They represent the people that people doubted, like me. People doubted me all the time, and I relate with them. Why do people choose Under Armour? Because of that reason, because of brand. Well, Nike, why do people choose brand? Nike? Because of their brand, that they're the biggest in the world. That if you were Nike, you are legit. <laughs> does that make sense? Then what are people looking for? Something that represents them, people that they can connect to. Then the question then is, who will you be? And then I guess the next question. All right, Chris, then how do I build a brand? What do I need to do to build this? Now, I think this is where, I think this is where self-awareness comes in the most. Self-awareness, meaning what is it that you're good at? Are you good at talking in front of people? Are you confident in front of the camera? Then do YouTube. You don't want to do 10 minutes of YouTube. You don't know how to make 10 minute content. Then what you can do next, go to TikTok, make 60 second content. You don't like talking in front of people. Then you're better at writing, write blogs. You're a developer, build your own website, build your own blog. Then take that blog, post it on Medium. And guess what? You know what we could do next? That blog you put on your website, on Medium, then take a picture of your laptop, post it on Instagram. And what content do you type in there? The same stuff you put on Medium. It's that easy. Build this, or just say stuff on Twitter. Building a brand. Just when you think about this in business is the single most important thing when it comes to business. But guess what? You yourself are a business. People are paying to use you to code. Guess what? More people will want to use you as a developer to represent them in the world. To look up to. Even if you don't make money from this, people will look up to you as an example. And how amazing is that? Especially when you think about how the internet is growing the way it is today. To be honest, it's brand that wins the end.
when it came to like social media, even for myself, I've been building my personal brand for the last four years. And for the last four years, I sold nothing, nothing. All I focused on was literally giving content for free over and over again for four years. When you think about it, after giving free content for so many years, but what are people buying into? They're buying into me because of a brand. It takes time and it's not easy at all. You have to put in the work, but I'm gonna tell you this. What job in the world would you want than being able to be you? 24 seven, 365, being the person that you were made to be. This is why I think every developer needs to build a brand today.